So I think there are lots of constraints that absolutely make it hard to try to make sure that all children can learn to read and write. Um, we have infinite needs and limited time. So as we think about across our week and this notion of comprehensive instruction, what we think about is how do we take advantage of every instructional minute that we have? And how do we divide those minutes across the things that are most important? Um, I happen to think that literacy and communication are most important. And so the first thing that I'm going to make time for in my day, or the first thing I'm going to teach when I have time in my day, is literacy. I'm going to think about a day where I'm eking out every possible instructional minute by having uh, other students reading with my students by taking advantage of technology so that my children can ha read with and, and listen to computers read to them. I'm going to not think that every child needs to learn one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm going to maximize the amount of time that I have with the teacher um, and use other classroom staff to support that small group instruction as opposed to thinking about um, a pretty traditional approach that we've had where this idea that children with low incidence disabilities have to be taught one-on-one. -on -one. And when we divide up the 50, 60, 75 minutes of instructional time that we often have in our special ed classrooms, and we divide that equally among the students who are in that class, we end up with children who are getting 10 and 15 minutes of instruction a day. And nobody's going to become a reader and a writer that way. So if we group children, suddenly everybody's getting 60 or 75 minutes a day. Um, and we can dramatically make a difference in the amount of instructional time while still managing in the system that exists today.